Hello everybody, welcome again back to Fish Market Flex. And we're still down here in Horror Hound in Cincinnati. And we're standing with the biggest star to ever grace any screen anywhere, Dr. Ivan Kryptosis himself. Yeah, but you're, you're almost right. It's me, Kryptosis, but nobody is standing. What are you lying to these people for? You're kneeling, I'm sitting, Mim's sitting. Don't lie to the folks. That does not go over well, especially on the movies and TV. But I'm a liar. That's what I do. I, I lie. Ah. I lie, I cheat, I steal. And we also have here uh, Mr. Chris Mim, a famous director from Wisconsin. How are you? Well, technically I'm from Minnesota, but I'll, I'll, you, can, you can cut that and say I'm from Wisconsin. I'm cool. It's all the same to me. I don't know much. I lie. It's cool. I'm from Wisconsin. All right. Go Pack. So tell us a little bit about your uh, movies. Uh, they're great. You should see them all. <laughs> and now you, you, the point. you're known for doing parodies of uh, the cheesy sci-fi flicks that we would watch back in the 50s and 60s. Well, you take a very almost serious yet joking approach to it all at the same time. That would be a good description, yes. And what's your obsession with heavy metal music from the 80s? Well, it's awesome, so why why not, right? Exactly. That's what I've been trying to tell this guy right here behind the camera. He don't listen. Well, that's not my problem, I guess. That's yours. <laughs> He's definitely very much my problem, but, you know, you're lucky you got, like, a good partner here. I got to deal with a green guy. Oh, yeah, that's uh, that can be a real issue. Yeah, the green, the Mr. St. Patrick's Day himself. <laughs> so, uh, Kryptosis, whatever happened to, uh, did you and Shane from Saturday Night Frights have a falling out? You just disappeared like six years ago without a trace. No, no, I did not disappear. Shane was doing fine. I was doing fine. It's just, it's very tiresome. You should know doing TV. I'm just, you know, just wearing out. Rather hook up with the, the Mim guy. So there's no desire in you to uh, maybe, uh, Put like another co-host, like say in a stranglehold and beat him down for a while? Oh uh, no, I, I need not do that. I have that problem sometimes. Being a host of a show, I have to deal with my co-host, like the green guy being problems all the time. It looks like, you know, he lo when I see him all the time, I always think of that big duster that they used to get the, the spider webs off the top of the ceiling with. That's what he kind of looks like. Yeah, yeah, that, that's kind of what he looks like too. I like to mop the floor with him at least two to three times a day just to teach him a few lessons. So uh, you ever had to like, you know, you know, show Kryptosis a few lessons here or there when he's like getting a little too cocky? Uh, you know, he just, just disappears by that point. I just ignore him. He comes back, you know. He always comes back. It's kind of like a dog. You let him go, let him do his thing, he'll come back. Uh, you know, I do hear he likes to just disappear and come back at random times, and you never know when he's going to go away again after that. That is absolutely true, 100%. So, uh, do you have a website where we can view any of your movies or anything? Yes, if you go to my website, SaintEuphoria.com, that's all spelled out, SaintEuphoria.com, and if you can't memorize that, just go to TheGiantSpider.com. All right, thank you very much. Mr. Kryptosis, I bow. Doctor, doctor, not mister. Oh. I, I earned that degree. I bow to you, sir. Oh, man. It's great to see you. All right. Thanks, everyone.